Now I am going to dictate a legal passage at the rate of 120 words per minute based on latest Supreme Court judgment. Let's start. The appellant before this court has challenged the order of the High Court dated 1805-2011 which has dismissed his appeal while upholding his conviction and sentence by the trial court for offences under sections 302 and 307 of the Indian Penal Code, comma, for which he has been sentenced for life imprisonment and seven years of rigorous imprisonment, respectively. Stop parachin. We have heard the learned counsel for the appellant as well as for the state at length. Stop para. As the facts of the case would reveal, the present case is of a brazen murder comma, committed inside a police station in Delhi. Stop. The prosecution case is that the appellant comma, who was posted as a police guard at Moyur Bihar police station comma, Delhi comma, executed this murder inside the police station comma, while he was on duty. Stop. Para. The deceased was married to the appellant's first cousin and was also his neighbor. Stop. The prosecution case is is that the deceased had an illicit relationship with the wife of the appellant stop. There are more than one witnesses to the fact that the deceased and the appellant were last seen together in conversation with each other inside the police station even minutes before these witnesses saw the appellant killing the deceased with his official 9mm carbine. Stop parachinch. An FIR was lost at police station Moyur Bihar, New Delhi on 30.06.2002 at 2.30 p.m. under sections 302 oblique 307 IPC on the narration of PW2 who was posted at the police station, comma, Moyur Bihar, comma, New Delhi as head constable at the relevant point of time stop. PW2 states that on the date of the incident, she reached the police station at around 11.30 a.m. and saw the appellant talking to the deceased stop. She further states that at around 11.40 a.m., comma, she heard sounds of five and then saw the deceased running towards the duty officer's room, comma, he was bleeding with his hands held up in the ear. Stop pair. The appellant was seen firing at the deceased from his carbine stop. When the firing stopped, comma, the deceased was seen lying outside the duty officer's room, comma, bleeding profusely stop. The appellant was apprehended along with his carbine by the police staff, comma, and PW2, who was also injured in the firing, was taken to the LBS hospital where she received medical aid, comma, and later lost the FIR stop panel. The police, after its investigation, filed charge sheet and the case was committed to sessions, comma, where charges were framed under sections 302 oblique 307 of IPC against the present appellant stop. The prosecution examined as many as 27 witnesses stop. The accused, comma, after giving his statement under section 313 CRPC had also examined a witness as DW1. The trial court ultimately convicted and sentenced the appellant under sections 302 and 307 IPC as already stated above. Stop parent. Strangely and for reasons best known to the prosecution, comma, it examined PW6 who is the brother of the appellant and PW25 who is wife of the appellant as prosecution witnesses stop. Although these two witnesses have supported the case of the prosecution to the extent that they established that the deceased was having an extramarital affair with the appellant's wife, comma, yet both of them added in their 
testimony that it was the deceased who was determined to kill the appellant stopper. PW25, who is the wife of the appellant, says that minutes prior to the incident, the deceased had come to her place and had warned her that he was going to the police station to kill her husband. PW6 is also a witness to this expression on the part of the disease stop pair. The accused public appellant who, as we shall see, comma, has neither denied the incident nor the fact that he killed the disease. Stop. Thank you.